Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on how to write an introduction to a Task 2 essay. To score highly for writing Task 2, you need to impress the examiner right from the very first sentence. This lesson will show you how in easy steps. In it you'll learn why the introduction is so important, the three-part structure of a good introduction, four common mistakes to avoid, and how to write a great introduction. So, why is the introduction so important? Starting your essay well will immediately begin stacking up the marks for both task achievement and cohesion and coherence, which together carry 50% of the marks. A good introduction does several things. It gives an excellent first impression. It shows the examiner that you understand the question. It gives the examiner a brief overview of what you'll cover in the rest of the essay and it focuses your thoughts and keeps you on track while you're writing. A good introduction has a simple three-part structure. First, you should paraphrase the question, then write a thesis statement, followed by an outline statement. This can be used for any type of Task 2 question. The introduction it creates should have two to three sentences, be 40 to 60 words long, and take five minutes to write. Before I show you how to write a good introduction, I want to flag up some common errors students make to help you avoid making them too. Mistake one, not being specific enough. It's tempting to start your essay with a general statement about the topic of the question. Don't do this. You need to be very specific. Here's an illustration of a poor opening sentence. First, the question. Everybody should become a vegetarian because eating meat can cause serious health problems. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Now the bad first sentence. These days, many people are worried about their health and changing their diet is one way that they try to improve it. Now this is not a question about health in general, but one specifically about becoming a vegetarian for health reasons. A good first sentence will paraphrase the question. That is, it will state the same information using different language and often a different sentence structure as well. We'll look at paraphrasing and see an example of a good first sentence later in this lesson. Mistake two is not writing a thesis statement. A thesis statement is a summary of the main idea of your essay. When the examiner reads it, they will instantly know whether or not you have understood the question correctly. It also acts as an outline for the rest of your essay. This makes the thesis statement the most important sentence in your essay. If you get it right, you'll have got off to the perfect start. There's an easy to remember formula for writing these statements, which we'll be studying later. For now, here's an example relating to our sample question. This essay agrees that the world's population should stop consuming meat due to the related health risks. Note the use of synonyms to paraphrase the question. Mistake three is not stating your opinion. Task two writing tasks generally require you to give your opinion. Usually this will be clearly stated in the question. For example, the instruction might say, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Or discuss both views and give your opinion. In other questions, it won't be so clear that this is what you should do. For example, what are the advantages and disadvantages of tourism in the modern world? However, your opinion, the main idea of your essay, is still required. If you always include it in the introduction, as well as throughout your essay, you won't go wrong. Mistake four is using inappropriate language. Many candidates make the mistake of trying to use clever or complex language to add interest to their essay or show off their high level language skills. Keep tight control of your language. This is a very short essay and you don't have the time or the space to get carried away with elaborate words and phrases and they aren't necessary for a high mark. Get the information across quickly and succinctly 
using everyday language that includes topic words and their synonyms. Most importantly, use the language correctly. The more complex you make it, the more errors you're likely to make. I show you how to write essay introductions for each of the five types of essays in their individual pages, where I go into everything in much more detail. You'll find links to these in the notes below this video. We're now ready to start writing our introduction. First, here's a reminder of the three-part structure. Paraphrased question, thesis statement and outline statement. Start your introduction by paraphrasing the question. Here's the question we're going to work on. Some young people are leaving the countryside to live in cities and towns, leaving only old people in the countryside. Do you think this is a positive or a negative development? To paraphrase the question, all you need to do is write the question statement in a different way, using a different sentence structure and synonyms of key words. Here's one way you could do it. The migration of the younger generation to urban areas is leaving many rural locations populated predominantly by the elderly. Pause the video for a moment if you want to compare the two sentences. Note the use of synonyms for many of the key words. For example, young people has been changed to younger generation. Countryside to rural locations. Cities and towns to urban areas. Leaving to migration. And old people to the elderly. You don't have to replace them all, but do so where possible without making the sentence sound awkward. It's fine to repeat one or two key words. Don't spend too much time trying to think of synonyms, or use one that you're not 100% sure are correct. Next, we come to the thesis statement. This states your opinion on the topic. In most instances, you simply need to decide whether to agree or disagree, and to reiterate the main idea of the statement. For example, this essay agrees that the loss of young people from the rural landscape has problematic consequences. This thesis statement states the opinion of the writer and paraphrases the question again in a way that makes this view clear. Finally, we have the outline statement, in which you outline the two main points that you'll cover in the rest of the essay. This acts as a guide to the examiner as to what you're going to write about and also helps you to keep focused and on track as you write. Write your outline statement in one sentence, or you can add it on to the end of the thesis sentence if appropriate. Here's an outline statement for our sample question. The two most serious are the depletion of the rural workforce and the loss of local education facilities. These two ideas will become your two main body paragraphs. So, main body paragraph 1 would be about the depletion of the rural workforce and main body paragraph 2 would be about the loss of local education facilities. Now let's pull the whole introduction together. The colour coding helps you to identify the three different parts. The migration of the younger generation to urban areas is leaving many rural locations populated predominantly by the elderly. This essay argues that the loss of young people from the rural landscape has problematic consequences. The two most serious are the depletion of the rural workforce and the loss of local education facilities. This short paragraph would be an excellent introduction to an essay on this topic. With the introduction complete, you're now ready to learn how to write main body paragraphs. Click the link in the notes below this video Go to the lesson on my website, where you'll also find the video about main body paragraphs. I'll see you there. Bye for now.